Let's find the discontinuities. And we'll also talk about whether or not they're removable or non-removable. Uh, you'll, you'll see. So, so here we go. Let's do a couple of these. Let's do like more than one example. Uh, f of x equals, um, okay, how about, how about this one? Tangent. Uh, let's keep it, s no, let's, this is college. <laughs> 3 pi x over 2. <laughs> I'll put a 4 here too. Game over. <laughs> Make it hard. Hard as possible problem. Okay. So we're trying to find out where this is not continuous. So, I mean, I guess you could have the tangent graph memorized, but that's more work. Tangent is what over what? What's, what's on the bottom? Sine over, yeah, sine over cosine. So a good first step is to maybe like rewrite it that way. So like this. 3 pi x over 2. And then here we have cosine 3 pi x over 2. So now you're thinking, okay, this function, where is it not continuous? Well, it's, it's, it's going to be discontinuous whenever the bottom is 0, right? Because you can't divide by 0. So what you do is you set the bottom equal to 0 to find out where it's, where it's messed up. Where is it not continuous? So you set cosine of 3 pi x over 2 equal to 0. Let me pause here. I'll let you catch up. Let me go slow. Set the bottom equal to 0. So again, you're looking for where it's not continuous. It's going to be not continuous whenever the bottom is 0. So whenever you're doing these, and you see a trig, like a, whenever you see a trig function here, if it's not sine or cosine, think about what's on the bottom. Okay, cosine's on the bottom, so you set this equal to 0. Okay, You can skip steps here, too. You don't have to show this work. So when is cosine equal to 0? Well, the cosine of blah is equal to 0 when blah equals that. right? Just think of x as like something, right? So this is your x. So this is your x. So you just take this and you set it equal to pi over 2 plus k pi. Okay. So now we, th we have 3 pi x over 2 equals pi over 2 plus k pi. Okay. When you're studying for the test, it's really useful to go over your notes as well, right? Some of the, ho like some of the homework is easier, right? So. So again, so you can go from here to here. How? Oh, it's tangent. Cosine's on the bottom. Oh, cosine. Oh, cosine will be 0 pi over 2 plus k pi. So you just take this, set it equal to pi over 2 plus k pi. Just think about what's on the bottom, and then just, so like if it was cotangent, you would just set this equal to k pi, because sine's on the bottom. So just think about what's on the bottom. Or I say bottom. What's the bottom actually called? The what? The, the yeah, I know. I just hate saying because it's denominator. It's like, it's like, it's like it's denom, denominator. It's like, it's like a, it's five syllables. Or bottom. It's much easier on the tongue to say bottom than denominator. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions up to here on this one? All right. We have to solve for x. So to get rid of the 3 pi over 2, we can multiply by the, what is that called? That thing we flip it. What is that called when you flip it? The, what is it? The reciprocal. the reciprocal. You know, I didn't know what that was for years. Yeah, it's called the reciprocal. So I'm going to show every step. I'm going to put a 2 over 3 pi here. And I'm going to put one here. I'm going to show you. can skip steps. I'm just going to show every step. I'm not going to skip any of them. This is equal to. And again, you can skip steps. I won't do it. But you can. Pi over 2 times. Just distribute this to each piece. Duh, ha, ha, times 2. Starting to fade. 2 over 3 pi. Right? right, so far so good. Plus, pi is falling out, part k pi times 2 over 3 pi. Yeah, I used to always skip steps here, and then one semester um, there was this girl, and she turned in her test, and she was showing all the work. I'm like, oh, she's doomed. She got 100. And she showed all the steps here. So ever since then, I show the steps. People always mess up here. Um, so now I always show all the steps. So this times this plus this times this. The pi's cancel, the twos cancel, right? So you get x equals one third 
plus the pi's cancel, so you get 2k over 3, very good, 2k over 3. And we forgot to say something, we still have to say this, right? This k is an integer. So it's important to say that it's not true for all k, just when k is an integer. So where k is an integer. I like how, how full this class is. This is, like, like, this is the fullest calculus one class I've had in like three or four years. 